This is a Raspberry Pi Pico board with RP2040 microcontroller. This is the 5 megapixel SP camera called as AudioCam Mega Camera. Recently, AudioCam launched this Lucentry camera solution that helps you connect one or more cameras to any microcontroller. It is particularly targeted for battery powered IoT devices, embedded machine vision, and artificial intelligence applications. In today's tutorial, we will learn how we can use this 5 megapixel SP camera with Raspberry Pi Pico. We will explore all the features like video streaming, image capturing, autofocus, auto exposure, auto gain, brightness control, special effects, white balance, UV control, saturation control, and all other features. Therefore, this guide is going to be very very interesting, so without getting any delays, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And this is the PCB in a couple of days. Welcome back again. This is the Raspberry Pi Pico board with RP2040 microcontroller and has a dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus processor running at a clock frequency of 133 MHz. It has 264KB of rest RAM and 2 MB of onboard flash memory. It has 26 multifunction GPIO pins with support SPI, I2C, UART, 12 bit ADC, and 16 PWM channel. Due to its accurate clock and timer on chip, along with temperature sensor, it can be used in many projects. This is the 5 megapixel camera module. This camera is a legendary camera solution that helps you connect one or more cameras to any microcontroller. It is basically targeted for battery powered IoT devices, embedded machine vision, and artificial intelligence applications. In our project, we will use this camera with Raspberry Pi Pico for practical demo and testing. This camera has a maximum resolution of 2592 cross 1944 pixels. It is fully compatible with 3.3 volt and 5 volt system with a typical power consumption of less than 1 watt. It operates at a speed of 8 MHz and has an optical size of 1 by 4 inch. It has a fixed focal length of 3.3 mm and a view angle of 68.75 degrees diagonally. The output format it gives is RGB, YUV, JPEG. It can work with any microcontroller with a single standard SPI interface. On the back side of this camera, there is a mounting screw for mounting it to any surface. It has 6 pins which can be seen from left to right as VCC, GND, SCK, MISO, MOSI and CS. You can directly connect this camera with Raspberry Pi Pico board. This is the official website of this camera module called AudioCam. You can visit this link and get to learn more about the camera module, its features, applications and capabilities. Let's move to the practical part now. This is the schematic that shows how to connect this camera with Raspberry Pi Pico. We are powering this camera with 3.3 volt and using the remaining 4 SPI pins for communicating with Pico board. I used jumper wires to connect the camera directly with the Arduino board. You may use your own custom PCB. A long wire connection is better here to move the camera in any direction. We will program the Raspberry Pi Pico with Arduino IDE. Therefore, open your Arduino IDE. First, go to Tools and click on Board Manager. Here, search for Pico. So, an official board called Arduino Embed OS RP2040 boards will appear. Install this package on your computer. Once installed, close this. Go to Tools again and from the list, select Raspberry Pi Pico board. Then, for the port part, select Raspberry Pi Pico. Then go to this GitHub repository. This is the library for this AutoCam Mega Camera which supports Arduino boards, ESP boards, STM32, MSP430, Raspberry Pi Pico, and other boards. Download this library and add it to your Arduino library folder. After adding this library, go to the example. Look for AutoCam Mega and then go to Pico. Open this example case. 
This example sketch had all the definition and necessary aesthetic support in C or C++ for communicating with any GUI software. You can go through the program in detail. One more thing, this sketch will give you an error after uploading and the camera won't work. So, you need to modify the pin definition in Arduino packages folder. So, go to the app data and open all the folders as shown here. Look for a file called pins arduino edge. Open this file with notepad++. From these lines, change the SPI pin definition. The MOSI, MISO, SCK and ESS, all pins should be mapped with GPIO 4, 3, 2 and 7. Then save this file. So this is the only modification that we need. Now go back to our arduino case and upload this code to the Raspberry Pi Pico board. So the uploading has been done. Now in order to visualize the camera, we need a GUI interface. For this, download the AudioCam Mega software from our website link and install this. When the installation is done, you can open the AudioCam software. Please go through the software UI to learn about the camera use case. It has all the features similar to the mobile phone camera with all the necessary settings. From the port select part, select the Pi Pico port. Then the baud rate of 921600. Then click on open. A message will open on this screen that shows the camera's successful connection with Pi Pico. Now we need to test this camera to stream videos or capture images. To do that, click on the video and this camera will start streaming the videos. So this is how the video is streaming. The video quality looks so good and better than ESP32 camera module. From this setting, you can change the video or image size or you can change the image format. Now, click on close to stop the video streaming. Similarly, when you click on the image part, it will capture the image. It might take a few seconds to capture the image. You can set this image on your computer. This is the capture image which looks really good. This camera also can be mounted on any surface or can be installed remotely for multi-purpose functions. Apart from capturing images and streaming videos, you can change the image resolution and also video dimension. You can change the image format to RGB, YUV, JPEG. The software also has the exposure control feature. By default, auto exposure is enabled. You can use the manual exposure by turning off the auto exposure. Even the gain control can be adjusted. Auto gain is enabled by default. Manual gain can change the image view. You can also increase or decrease the brightness of the image you are capturing. The contrast control feature is available to control the image contrast. The software has also EV control, saturation control, spatial effect control, wet balance control, and focus control. If you want to learn more about this software, you can check all the options. The complete project details, including device information, purchase link, source code, and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.